Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and I'm back on Beef's level 93, Vile Molten Shell Elementalist. As of this video, I've killed Uber Itziri three or four times now, I can't quite remember. It took one failing attempt and then several um, decent and some deathless runs after to actually get a... Um, nice and consistently down. Before I show you what that looks like in the video, I will let you know exactly what changed or what I've done since the last video for this character. I've gained absolutely no levels since then. Um, one thing I... the most important thing I've done is grabbed a Vile Pact, so I reallocated a couple of points from here I think, and maybe dropped the Jewel Socket. Can't quite remember what I did, but it wasn't too important, just like lost these two points and essentially grabbed a Vile Pact. You need four points for Vile Pact, and the significance of that is as long as we have a Warlord's Markup, which is our source of Leech, 2%, and we're attacking with Vile Molten Shell, if Vile Molten Shell is essentially hitting things, then you'll probably not die, as long as you don't get one shot. Now, there are lots of one shots out there, but the purpose of Vile Pact is mostly to recover during the double Vile encounter, um, the Atsiri Trio and versus Atsiri Spears. Without Vile Pact, you will just die by consequent attacks rather than leeching straight back up to full and being ready to take another one. So Vile Pact does make things a bit uncomfortable at certain times, but I think it is worth grabbing for the build for Uber Atsiri. Up until Uber, I did not use Vile Pact ever. Besides that, I went ahead and got two Flame Blasts to level 20. Um, one of them I vialed into a level 21, which upped the mana cost from 9 to 10. So now that the mana cost goes to 10, that means I had several extra mana points worth of Flame Blast to cast with. Uh, at a level 20, cost 4 mana. Level 21, we're at 7. So that meant I needed to grab another Elrion Jewelry, or Ring. Or I just need at least two eights over here. I only have a seven and a five. I wasn't really going to try and perfectly divide them, so I just grabbed another Aerion ring to replace my other ring. And that leaves Flame Blast back at seven mana, so that's not a big deal still. Um, that's not something you really have to worry about if you don't have a level 20 on Flame Blast. And a level 20 on Flame Blast isn't really essential, it just helps out, I suppose. So beyond that, um, we have a 5 link now on our carcass check as well. Ever since getting the 5 link, I will now use increased area as uh, my additional 5th link. But for the entirety of the Uberon, I was running with Conk Effect. Conk Effect seemed to help take care of trash a lot better than increased area did. Um, just because during the trash, you're really killing it quickly as long as you have Conflux up. So your goal is to kill off a monster or two or as many as you need to get Conflux up and then try and build on that momentum to kill the trash quickly. Now for the Uber in itself, I use using two Vile Molten Shells, my main one, which is a level 20, and a level 19, which has not yet hit 20. So the goal is to always try and have two charged up. So you charge up your first one, as soon as that's charged up, swap in your other one, try and get that one charged up. The Val fight, the double Val fight only takes one Molten Shell, the trio fight should only take one Mont Shell, but you have another one for backup just in case. And Atsiri herself takes two Mont Shells. Um, at least, ideally. But if it fails, you can use Flame Blast, it just becomes a little more difficult. So I'll show you guys some of the runs so far. Um, one of them was a complete brick at Uber Atsiri, and the rest pretty much got to Atsiri Deathless and then some went better than others. So here they are. Alright, we'll try this shit again. It's it's gonna be even more. It was sad failing once, that's pretty sad. Failing twice in a row? Oh, that's gonna be catastrophic. Tilts will be had. Oh right, I need a um, flask. Should 
Check this one out and try using Conk Effect for trash. I think it might just be a lot faster overall. Should end up with a faster trash clear. Yeah, DPS is a lot nicer. Coffee. Coffee probably will actually help me carry me across the line here. It's truer than you know. Start charging up the other one. Ah. If those ignites are so huge, they just burn the other monsters that come from 100 to 0. Keyboard's fucked if uh, I fail this run. Definitely say goodbye to the keyboard. If this doesn't go well. I think that's clear. Oh. Okay. Need this to go well. Went relatively well last time. That doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, this could be shit. Yes. Not good. Um, my blood rage wasn't where it was supposed to be. So I never got to press that. Which doesn't help. I'm still using VP, yes sir. The uh, thing that worries me is last time my Val, uh, my trio kill, actually went better than it could have potentially. And that was only one portal. So 
it could be worse. <laughs> Which scares me. But so far, trash plus vials is pretty cruisy. If Trio's cruisy this time around, then that's fine too. It's just only at Ziri we have to worry about on this boot. And uh, yeah, that makes sense. As well as bullshit Pirandus monsters. Oh god. Is this fair? He gets casting Bladefall. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck, man. <laughs> Oops. These guys are hella stupid, though. Okay, we got a prolif going. Finally. Jesus Christ. And because they're in a series zone, they're guaranteed to be blues. You know, champions, which is hard for Pirandus mobs. Oh, uh, when Quizzit had a much easier time of trash there. This isn't bad, but, uh... This feels a little unsafe, that's all. EPS is good. Change that over, I totally forgot. Yeah. Please don't rain down on me as soon as I start, that's all I ask. Where the fuck is the other guy? Jesus Christ, he's not coming anywhere near me. went well I'm cool with that that guy seemed to like not hit me at all and killed the cyclone a second accidentally but he just was so low already okay like fair enough well if you actually missed the entire fight it went well I killed all three smoothly and instantly from the one Varmont show.
God, I'm so terrified of its area now. Uh, I want it to go well. I have both armor on shells. Yep. Okay. It's just so much added pressure while streaming. That's all. <laughs> I was off stream. I'd fucking break ten sets before I got it down. Wouldn't really care. Only cost one XH, roughly. Okay, we're there. Deathless Run Inc. That would be an absolute miracle. But yeah, who knows, eh? Okay, we've started. So actually what I'm trying to do is keep up Fortify always, which means I'm whirling through her a lot. And uh, hopefully trying to drop a stib note on her whenever I can to This stib note actually isn't rolled terribly well, I need it to be better. I totally forgot about the flask too. I keep fucking doing that. It's okay. What this I could do? still go. Maybe? Well. Ah, fuck. I'm fucked, aren't I? Uh. Okay. Team plan is. Start playing again? I think so. Okay.
Oh my god. That's that's so sketchy. Got an axe. Fuck yeah. That is so sketchy though, you guys have no idea. Like that could that could either be a completely deathless run or six deaths. So since my first kill I've performed another two or three kills and they've all gotten pretty much better than the last. Um, I did speed this one up 50% uh, just for the sake of getting through it quickly. So bear in mind this is one and a half times faster than it's supposed to be. But it went really well, completely deathless uh, I do believe. The add phase, really easy to take care of, just flame blasts and the prolif with the conflux takes care of it easily. Try and keep up our fortify at all times off of its Eri. Try and always drop a Stib Knight on top of the Spear Ad while killing her quickly. As long as we have Val Molten Shell up while actually doing damage, then things die almost instantly. So all I have to do is essentially dodge that first Flame Blast, dive in onto the Spear Ad, hopefully, drop a Stib Knight Flask, and she should be dead long before anything gets a chance to happen. So, if you time it just right, you should get one Valmont Shell in on two add phases, or two split add phases, and then your other one should take care of the last split add phase, and it's all pretty easy from there. So I'm only using two Valmont Shells because I don't have any Sacrificial Harvests, so I don't think I'll reliably charge up three. That said, you could go with three if you really wanted to, and you would run some sack harvests otherwise. But this was a completely deathless, deathless run, and that is what I expect of the character at this point. You guys try the build out, and see you next time.